Hello, today I'm here with Michael DiPaolo, and I am excited to say I'm going to learn a new dish, pasta vegetale. There you go, perfect. I perfect. said it right. It yes, means vegetable, but he made it sound so good, I want to make it. Okay, um, we're going to get started with our uh, pasta vegetale. We got our pasta going. Now let's start with the vegetale part. We're going to start off with a little olive oil. Okay. And? Fresh chopped garlic. And I love him because he loves garlic just like garlic. me. Lots of garlic. Love it, love it. Okay. If it's got garlic. garlic into it, I'm into it. Fresh garlic. We're going to put some uh, fresh red onion. All right. Okay. Now, if I didn't have red onion, can I still continue to make this dish? Oh, absolutely. Any, okay. any onion of your choice, whether you want the regular uh, Spanish onion, uh, Vidalia onion. I like the red. And, you know, for different dimensions on your pasta, depending on what type of pasta you're using, whether you're using a long pasta, like a spaghetti or linguine, or a short pasta, uh, like the, today we're using the penne, uh -huh. you can cut your onions julienne and brown those. You don't have to do a fine dice like I'm choosing to today. Yeah. And another thing beautiful about this dish, you mm -hmm. said I can use my leftovers in the fridge. Oh, absolutely. I forget that. That's it, vegetale, it's just to, to name the dish. But one thing that you can always get a meal at home, if you have boiling water and you have any type of pasta, you got a meal. Open up your fridge, you got tons of products in there that you can clean up, use up leftovers. Sit down, cook the pasta, toss everything up on a quick little saute. If you got garlic in the house, olive oil in the house, you're all set. You just may have to go to the store and buy some homemade wine or buy some <laughs> wine. Okay, Thank you. now we're going in here, just uh, some mild uh, banana peppers. All right, all right, I can leave the seeds in them if I want. Uh, yeah, with curious. the mild ones, it's not going to help, but if you're not, the jalapenos, yeah, that'd okay. be different. You're correct about okay. that. Okay, and we're going to do a couple of artichoke hearts. You love artichokes, okay. don't you? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Okay. Okay. Can I just, if you don't mind, just oh, bring it, yeah, up, to the, bring it no. up to the nose? Absolutely. That smells beautiful. Okay. And we're going to add in here a little bit of spinach. All right. Now, the spinach, you don't have to worry about it. It really cooks down, uh, okay. and it'll disappear a lot once you get to that pasta. So it's going to look like it's a lot of spinach, but believe me, when we're done with the dish, it's going to be perfect. And I love the baby organic spinach you're using. Oh, absolutely. You got to. Yeah, it's much more yeah. tender, and yeah. I would recommend it. Okay, one of the last things we've got to do is the tomato. I want to add the tomato down to the last part because you want it to still stay firm. You just want it uh, hot. You don't want it to be cooked. You're not making a tomato sauce That's here. Okay. It'll be nice and light and finish it. It makes okay. great sense. Okay. And you can so see already the spinach is already wilting right down. Yeah. And you had mentioned to me it's kind of like doing a stir fry when you're doing a dish like this. He's taking um, ingredient by ingredient mm -hmm. and putting it uh, according to cooking time. Right. So if I had some leftover green beans here, I'd add them in the end, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you for fry. that. Yep. I just want to share that with everyone. Yeah. Speaking of sharing that, have you been down to our bank facility lately? Uh, you know what? I'm telling you, you're growing and you're going and yeah. you're beautiful. Well, and we just... We just ended up, uh, we did carpets, new carpeting throughout the whole restaurant. Restaurant, bank facility, everything. Uh, looks beautiful. Stop down and see us at the restaurant and pop your head in the kitchen and say hi to me. And may I ask a favor of you? Sure. If I'm at your banquet facility could, and I'm gluten free, can you help me? Oh, absolutely. So you're gluten free. Taking it right from the restaurant into the banquet center. Yep, just ask your server. We'll take care of you. No problems at all. Thank you. Okay. This is looking good. Now we're going to add in the tomatoes. Okay. So I'm just okay. garlic and onion. You kind of like seasoned mm -hmm. your great yeah. olive oil. and. Yeah. If I didn't have to go back to work today, I'd be putting some white wine in here a little bit. Really? Kind of kick it up a little bit. Really? Yeah, yeah, pick it up and okay. make a little sauce. Yep. You don't need it, though. You got your olive mm -hmm. oil and all that nope. goodness. I'll add the whole wheat penne pasta. Right there. I'm feeling the love. Sauce mm -hmm. for me, sauce. Oh, you are good at that. Nah, I need practice. Okay. Okay, how about That is our pasta. Put it right in our bowls. May I, Chef? Yes. There we go. There you go. Beautiful, nice pasta, nice artichokes. Tomatoes are still nice and whole. My bread. Oh, oh. it's happening. It's a good yeah. thing. Okay. How is that? That looks Chef. beautiful. Delicious. <laughs> Thanks. Ilio DePaulo's Restaurant, 3785 South Park Avenue, Blaisdell, New York, in the South Downs. Come dine with me, Western New York. <laughs>